On this episode of Retro Car Guy 530, I'm going to talk about upgrading your Sigma probe to version 2.6 of the firmware and application software to make sure that you have the critical updates necessary to best protect your internal hardware on your Sigma probe. So let's get into it. Several weeks ago, VxDOS sent me a Sigma probe for my review, and I ran through various tests with that unit, but I did run into some problems with the unit in the multimeter and component activation tests. The circuit breaker was acting strangely, so I ended up sending that unit back to them for their internal checks, and their engineering department decided there was a release necessary of firmware to best protect the internal hardware. There's a version 2.6 of the firmware that now enables the circuit breaker far quicker than before to better protect the internal components of the device. So this version I just received the other day, this still has version 2.1, which is an early release of the firmware. Another uh, Sigma Probe video on their YouTube channel states that 2.3 is the first production version, but that's not sufficient. You have to upgrade to version 2.6. So if your version screen does not show 2.6, make sure that you upgrade it immediately to best protect your device. I have another video on my channel showing you the full steps of doing that and you can go check that out to get the drivers installed on your Windows laptop and downloading the update tool and getting that all ready and going. But this one I'm just going to show you that I'm going to upgrade from 2.1 to 2.6 and make sure you do that as soon as possible. So on the version screen we have the 2.1 here and then hardware version 2 with a build date of April 10th uh, 2021. Now we're going to go ahead and get this connected and we're going to go up to the firmware upgrade. Again, we're on the main screen. We're down in the lower right section here for setup. And then we go to firmware upgrade and we click on that and it goes into a bootloader mode. There is a USB type A, two connections on it are type A's here. One plugs into the USB connection for the Sigma probe itself which we'll show on the secondary camera view here. And you plug that in to that end of the cable. And then the other end here goes over to your computer and plugs into a USB type A port over there. And we hear that USB mounting over there. And since we're in the bootloader mode, it's recognized and I've got all the software already installed in, in the laptop that I'm using here. Again, check out my other video, which there'll be a link down in the description section of the vi this particular video to that one to show you the full steps of getting ready to upgrade the firmware. But now on this screen, we can see that I have 2.3 and 2.6 in the update file directory. And since we just plugged in the device, we don't have anything listed here. So I have to click on refresh. Now that we've selected the virtual COM port that's going to be associated with the Sigma probe, we're now going to select the files. If there's multiple versions of the file sitting there, you'll see a screen like this. And here are the 2.6 files that I downloaded from the Sigma probe tech website, which I will have a link to that in the description section as well. So I'm going to click the checkbox here for the two that I want to send to it. So we have the two six files. These are the two three files, which were the first original production versions, according to the other Sigma probe videos on their channel, but we want 2.6. And then I've checked those. So we've got this. And let's go ahead and click upgrade. Okay, the Sigma probe, it Itself should reboot after that, which it has. And now we have gone to the main boot screen here and let's go down to that setup screen and let's look at that about information and see what we have. And now it shows Sigma Pro V2.6 hardware version two and the build date is July 7th, 2021. So if you have a Sigma probe that shows a version earlier than that, make sure you upgrade it as soon as possible to best protect the components within the device. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos just like this. Look for my full review of this product coming on my channel soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.